Wow, that's very bright. <laughs> it's washing me out too much this light. Hello guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I have a pretty jam-packed day today. I'm gonna to take Barney to daycare and then I'm gonna to go to the hairdressers to sort this situation out. It definitely needs a little root touch up. I think I'm just gonna have like half a head today though because I had a full head last time. So no need to get um, the full lot done. And just someone asked me recently actually how often I go. I get my hair done, probably I alternate between like full head and half head and I always get a lengthy or a healthy trim, I should say, a pretty big trim every time just to get it back into the condition. And I probably have it done every nine weeks, something like that. I can tell when I start need to go to the hairdressers when my roots start getting a little bit greasy because obviously it's my natural color and there's no lightener bleach my hairdresser hate me for saying that there's no bleach on the roots so i find oh god you can see it there look at that oh i'm darker here than i am here so that's why i have my parting on this side i'm gonna go via a home bargains which they have there i need to pick up a couple of like cleaning bits but apart from that i just want to go for a browse it's a good one they have quite a lot of furniture there i've noticed they've got some more wicker baskets that i'm tempted to purchase so we're gonna go we're gonna have a browse. We're then gonna go to the hairdressers, relax and unwind. One thing I do love actually when I go to the hairdressers is Readly, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. If you've not heard me talk about Readly before, it is a magazine subscription service that you can get on your, well, you can get it on different devices. Tom prefers reading it on his iPad. I prefer my phone. You do get up to access up to five different devices though, which is great, just on the one account. If you use my unique link, which I'll leave in the description box below, you can get two months free. It is cancel any time as well, so if you decide after those two months of free use, of access of over 7,000 different magazines, newspapers, puzzlers, recipes. And if you still decide it's not for you, you can cancel. But anyway, thereafter, it's only $9.99 a month, which think of the value of $9.99 for over 7,000 different access to seven, over 7,000 different, I can't even get my words out, it's that crazy. I used it a lot when we went to uh, Milan. Milan, if we all know the Milan trip, if you saw my vlog recently when we went there, the plan was a city break. It was far more chilled, so really got used quite a bit. I think I didn't mention it in that vlog at the end. I kind of signed it out as we'd arrived at the airport. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you again next time. And then what you didn't see after that was the flight got cancelled. It was when EasyJet cancelled over 200 flights. We were on the bus to get on the plane, and they said, everybody, get off the bus. There's gonna be a delay of 30 minutes, and we we're like, oh, 30 minute delay, all right. 30 minutes came and went, an hour came and went. They didn't know what was going on. They were like, flight's cancelled. So we ended up being in the airport for about another seven hours or something ridiculous. So yet again, another perfect opportunity for me to catch up on some magazine reading. It not only has all of like the latest new release magazines, they also archive. So like any old issues or old copies that you want to go back and read, you can do that. You can download for offline reading. So on the plane, I had access to my favourites. So yeah, it is just a, a good all-rounder app that i would definitely recommend so thanks to them and i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i did want to share with you look what i bought a cheeky little hotel chocolate purchase i went to the traffic center the other night and um i stumbled into hotel chocolate firstly our velvetizer which i have been loving as of late and we only had two. I had the hazelnut praline, praline, and the chocolatey. Hmm, I want to say it's the classic one. It's about seventy percent. Something like it's not dark, but it's classic. So it's not the milky one. So I wanted to try some new ones. So I picked up this one. This is a seasonal one, new one that they had out, which obviously screams me maple and pecan how like autumnal does that sound this was more intriguing to me i guess because it gives us a good opportunity to try some new ones and this is one of the selection boxes that they do this one is the mellow they had a vegan one they had a dark one they had an everything box 
I think it was called, where there was actually 10 different flavors. I nearly went for that one. I might still get that one. But the reason why I didn't was this one sounded more like me. The flavors in this one, milky 50%, salted caramel, vanilla white, cafe latte, nut milk, which I think I'm gonna love, and orange. The other one had like uh, ginger, chili, different ones like that. So I might still try that one. Um, and then anyway, I got this for my dad as part of his little Father's Day gift. Um, he's asked for like some laptop something or other, so I've got him that, but also um, this old fossil, 40% milk chocolate bar. And then I got a little, um, I, I got this for Tom last year for Father's Day as well actually, but I got it, got it him again. Dapper dozen, little milk chocolate dogs for a little Father's Day. For, you know, being the best dog dad, fur baby dad. Uh, so yeah, popped into Hotel Chocolat. Excited to try that maple and pecan one. I might even have one of those tonight, actually. And another thing that is due to arrive today, which I can show you later as well, is a box from Showcase. I mentioned before about Showcase. It's like a... How do they describe it? It's like a... Outlet type sale that you have to book on a slot online and they do different brands on different days and there was a Neptune one recently and I told you in a vlog that I would show you it didn't arrive until well hopefully today it's arriving so as soon as that gets here as well this evening I'll share with you the bits that are in there I did hint hint that there might be some little Christmas bits in there oh, it's early but you know it's sale and that's why yeah, there was Christmas bits in there Anyway, I feel like I can't look at myself anymore with this frizzy hair that needs sorting out. So let's get to the hairdressers and let's go shopping to Home Bargains as well. and light again with my new highlights i've also had some front framing done just some little shorter bits here around my face um but yeah i am going to pop in via poundland and if there's anything vlog worthy i will of course do so but it was actually someone one of you girls that um sent me a photo on instagram of a book that you found it was a really nice looking book so i thought oh for a pound I'm going to just check out this one and see if they've got it. But they've also got Pep and Go here, like the clothing range at this one. So it's a pretty good one. Anyway, let's head on in. Then let's head back home. It's just started raining, which is not ideal. I was like, don't bother styling it. I'm just going to keep it nice and straight and simple. And I can always curl it. Um, anyone else do that with their hair? Just so I say, oh no, don't style it. It's fine. Or is it just me? <laughs> can you hear the rain? 
Right, I'm gonna do a mad dash in before it gets any heavier. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember. Stay. 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 Good morning. Good morning, puppy. <laughs> are we gonna go for a walk? Oh, there's a family. Good morning. Good morning. You think it's got worse? Let's see what the video says today. Um, sorry, I saw abruptly finish filming yesterday. I just got back and it just felt like quite late, and I was like, I've got actually quite a bit to show you. So um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up the camera again today. We're going to go into Wilmslow, take Tom for his physio. And maybe grab some lunch shots for there as well. Oh, sorry if that's set off some of your dogs. We're gonna go for a little walk this morning first, go grab a Costa. I think our utility cabinets are arriving today as well at some point, which will be nice. Wake up with some fresh air on our face and go on a walk. Need to go for a walk, Barney? Yeah. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. so now back from our walk tom's just on a call upstairs so if you can hear him um he's not talking to himself he is on a call i'm trying to be a little bit quieter i've just popped on this jumpsuit from zara and this kind of like white linen overshirt it's actually quite warm today so um, yeah, we're actually gonna go get kind of more of a brunch before Tom's appointment with the physio rather than what we were gonna do was lunch afterwards But because this utility apparently is arriving early afternoon. I just want to be in for it So yeah, that's the plan Um, I thought I would share with you before we go the bits that I did get yesterday from home bargains and then when we get back from our little brunch date, I can share with you um, the other bits I've got. I have received some PR yesterday and then also the Neptune things from Showcase and anything else? Well, I'll let you know if there's anything else, but let me go grab the Home Bargains bags and one pound land bag. These are not that interesting, but I'll show you them anyway. Lawn feet and some garden shears. Right, taking these back down. I will say though, the smaller shears, they had shears, <laughs> uh, the smaller gardening shears, they did have like a set of them. And I noticed they had, you know, sometimes home bargains have like retail prices quite a lot higher, as in if they're like a brand or something that is heavily reduced in home bargains. They did have a set that was quite heavily reduced. So yeah, the smaller ones, I think they're a good make apparently. But anyway, since I only got a couple of bits in Poundland, I'll just show you them first. I got this Happy Father's Day gift bag and some gift um, like sort of tissue paper. I did see these shorts which were in like a really nice toweling fabric and I just thought they kind of reminded me of the whole, let's take off that green si sticker so you can really get a feel for what it actually looks like. What does it say? Athletic Club Laguna Hills established 1985. It's very cute. I loved the toweling material, the super thick waistband. I did get them in a medium because they do cinch in quite tight, um, more for length than anything on a short. I prefer a slightly longer short, but I thought this in in the like peak of summer here in the UK, just running around in the garden, running errands with it like a little white bodysuit on or something, topping up your tan in the garden. And yeah, six pounds they were, so I thought that was pretty good. I also got a couple of these from the summer section, these ice freezeable blocks. So these, the pack of two, and then these as well, these little reusable ice cubes. If you don't want to water down your drink, then um, you can just, and reuse them, yeah, anyway. Um, I also saw this on checkout. Extra have brought out loads of new flavors. And this one is melon mint. I 
thought that sounded lovely. And then last but not least, I got some doggy peanut butter for Barney. And then in Home Bargains, again, I just got more dog treats. Got these Markies that he likes. And then these Jumbo. I already had, had one of those. I also got some stock ups of my faves carmax this is my trusty fave my always my kind of go to the one in the tube and the original flavor they also have these flavors so firstly this little pack of three minis which is very handy for throwing in a handbag and they have spf in spf 15 these ones so they've got the mini strawberry but they've also got the mini cherry and mini i've never seen this flavor before pineapple how nice does that sound i think that'll be my favorite to be honest with you i got them more because they're minis so yeah then i think i'll love this flavor but it is in a tube i um a stick rather than the tube which i do prefer the tubes but lime sounded nice and refreshing for the summer months i also got some tic tac fabulous have bought out this new kind of luxe range of disinfectants of the three scents there was one in the white box one in like a charcoal box and then the pink the pink one sounded most like the scent that i would like bramble harvest spicy accord opening with pink pepper cardamom amboise thyme frankincense lime and lemon leading into a heart of clove patchouli and lily fruity notes of apple plum and raspberry on a base of amber tobacco cedar wood quaker wood cistus and musks the other ones had more floral notes in which if you know me i much prefer the woody musky fruity rather than the floral oh it's very it's actually more fruity than woody i would say like i can really smell the apple nice this might be tmi <laughs> i got a foot spray oda eater's foot and shoe spray if you've ever tried a foot spray oh, they're so refreshing so i don't I'm going to toot my own horn here, but I don't get stinky feet, okay? But I thought it would just be handy to have... <coughs> Went in my mouth. Um, oh, God, it's everywhere. It's quite strong. <laughs> anyway, it neutralizes foot and shoe odour, so I thought it would be quite handy to keep downstairs by our shoes. But also, it just feels lovely and refreshing. I got this three-pack of socks these are so soft these ones are the men's ones i did get the smaller size though so it's men's six to eight and a half so um they should fit fine but the women's ones were pink black and white i think oh this is fun i saw this this is in one of the like in the star buys section when you first walk in 1990s mini pack of trivial pursuit now i'm a 90s girl i was born in 1992 is it just questions or is there like a mini board you keep the card as a point so in order to like win you obviously need to collect as many cards as possible let's have a quick question cut the deck this is the question card we're going to go with which 1991 Sega video game features speedy blue critter doing his best to make quick work of the evil Dr. Eggman? What's your answers? Is it Sonic Hedgehog? Sonic the Hedgehog! What Frank McCourt's memoir of his poverty-stricken childhood in Ireland was released in 1996 and won a Pulitzer Prize a year later? I feel like I know this. Oh no, I wouldn't have got that. Angela's Ashes. Bonus points if you got that. What event took place in the UK on Sunday, April 21st, 1991 and has taken place every 10 years since 1801, except in 1941? So I'm guessing 41 to do with the war. It takes place every 10 years. Some kind of like final of sports? I don't know. Oh, census. Okay. Ah, should we do one more card? I feel like defeated. I only got one out of three. Who played Dr. Evil in the groovy hit comedy Austin Powers International Man of Mystery? He does this. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the same actor as Austin Powers, isn't it? It's Mike Myers. Yay, Mike Myers. What is the more well known name of Auction Web, a company founded in programmer Pierre Omidyar's living room in 1995? Auction Web eBay. 
Yay, eBay. The first item sold was a broken laser pointer. There we go. The island of Montserrat, where the Sufia Hills volcano erupted in 1995, is in which sea? The Arctic, the Caribbean, or South China? I'm gonna say Arctic. Caribbean, never mind. Two out of three, I'm improving. Let me know out of the six how many you got correct. Okay, moving on. I got these, are these new? Yes, they are. Um, so the, they're kind of like Crave cereal, which I love, I love Crave cereal. It's the Crunchy Nut Bites Honey and Nut flavor. So I feel like it's going to be like, look at the filling. I feel like instead of the typical chocolate in a Crave, it might be more like caramel, like caramel chocolate. I'm excited to try them. I picked up this from Garnier. This is the Natural Bronzer Self Tan Body Mist. Quick drying results in one hour, lasts up to one week. If you've seen Barley Body, they keep doing loads of ads. They know that I want to purchase it because I keep seeing the ads. But their instant spray tan it looks so good. And I'm thinking this will do the same job. If it doesn't, if I don't get on with it, you'll never hear me talk about it again. And I might try out the Barley Body one, but for now I'm gonna try that one. I think these are only 2 dollars mega bargain, but they are huge. So they cost them as candy jars, but I'm thinking once we've got the utility up and running of having this kind of on display, I've got a couple of shelves in our utility. So I wanted some big jars like this to maybe pop some um, washing powder in with like a little wooden scoop or some wooden pegs, like really old vintage wooden pegs for the aesthetics of course but also i do think it'll be quite practical to have them to hand on the shelf and then last of the home bargain bags again some more treats for mr barney himself i got the i wanted to try the new pomelo paradise limited edition scent that flash do and i was like what do i try and do i try the floor cleaner do i try the um, what else did they have? They had the Febreze. I ended up going with wipes because I'm finding wipes very useful at the minute to keep on top of the builders, dust, dirt and grime. Although wipes aren't typically like a long-term thing for me, I prefer to use microfiber cloths. You need a washing machine for that. We're currently without a washing machine and won't be until we get it all installed down in the basement. All of the like kind of wastewater has now been cut off in our kitchen so we have no kitchen sink waste we have no dishwasher washing machine oh okay that's very fruity kind of makes me want a fruit platter sat on a beach i did stock up on some bin bags that we needed so i just got some more i also got this from designer fragrances if you've not seen these before they do like car air blast freshness i've already got one in my car which i think is the Savoir scent they're all kind of based off designer they're like dupes of de designer fragrances and they do smell lovely they're really powerful as well this one however i've never tried it's actually called the foam blast so it's more for the carpet and upholstery freshener in azul i did get some nuts how nostalgic is this at least it is for me anyway pombas just couldn't resist They've also got salt and vinegar, which I feel like I'm gonna like. And then the last thing that I picked up from Home Bargains is a little gym set. They had this set in a full length legging as well. They also had like a purpley pinky set. This is a really nice length, five pounds. These shorts are. I like the fact that they've got kind of rib detailing along the sides. They've got 10 to 12 in both. They have like eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 14. So they've got you, got everyone covered. And that's it from home markets and Poundland. So my tummy's rumbling, ready for my brunch. As Tom stopped talking, see if he's finished. Ready I'm ready. I'm hungry. It seems to have gone a little bit cloudy. <laughs> Is it raining? Oh no, I we'll have to get changed after all. We're gonna take the dogs, so we're, the restaurant that we go to, or for like the brunch place that we like in Wilmslow, is called Juniper, and they do allow dogs, but to be sat outside. So, I think it'll be fine. We could get Barney ready. My tummy is rumbling so much. Did you hear that? Anyway, let's go.
open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go my way. We're back! Just taking his lead and collar off. I just think it must feel like you take your bra off at the end of the day. <laughs> taking his collar off for him. Let me show you <laughs> these goodies we got from Buzzy Bee Bakery. This box is so heavy and Tom's already has, has had one of his. We've got two each. Two brookies. Brownie in the middle of a cookie. In fact, this one I think is just a cookie that I went for. The Milka one i think i'm gonna have half of that now because that is a lot grab myself a coffee um and then i also got this one for myself a dime look look at the size of it a dime brondi no brookie mmm <laughs> The white chocolate, for me, makes it. Oh my God. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's not for you. The dogs can't have chocolate. If you're local to Wilms though, fuzzy. Or you can even heat them up so you can freeze as well. These ain't getting freezing. Freezing, <laughs> frozen. Touch, yes, speak. <coughs> And then you take that to your bed. And I'm going to take you guys upstairs to share with you some of those bits that I mentioned that I wanted to to show you. And then I'm going to make myself coffee, have that cookie, get on with some work for the rest of the day, and get done because I have a lot to do. Oh, it's so sunny outside. I might do some work for the garden today. To be honest, there's not that much to share with you, but. I did get sent these pans from Salta. Very kind of them. I've got their air fryer to try actually as well, but because we are, well, like I've mentioned previously about the whole kind of without kitchen waste, we're just trying to do as best we can cooking wise without loads of stuff to wash up because it honestly is a pain. It really is a pain, first of all problems, but it's just not ideal. Uh, so yeah. We've got some of these pans. They're great because they're non-stick um, and they're suitable on loads of different worktops because, oops, for now we've got gas, but future kitchen, we're gonna have induction. This suits gas, electric, halogen, radiant, induction, and it's dishwasher safe. Not many pots and pans are dishwasher safe. So that is music to my ears. So yeah, major thanks to them for sending those over. I did also get sent this from KJ. Remember, remember a recent vlog when I went to Sunset with them for lunch? They also sent me two of their new fragrances. This one is the one that I smelled at the event and absolutely loved. So they very kindly sent this one over. It's from Gutal and it's called Folly Dun Swan. It's a very woody, spicy scent. It smells amazing. And they know I love Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce Cologne. So they've sent me the female perfume called Naturally Fierce. Naturally. So that reminds you of Davide from Love Island. He always says naturally. I want to give this a little whiff and see what it smells like. Christ, I can't get the lid off. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's, oh, that is. That is definitely, it's got a hint of that fierce cologne. If you do like Abercrombie and Fitch men's fierce cologne, this is like, it's basically a female version of it. It's a, it is lighter, maybe got a little bit of floral in it, but it's, you can tell it's Abercrombie and Fitch. This is how the package arrived. So I'm not gonna lie, showcase, it, um, could move around a little bit with delicates and stuff. It might, you know, maybe be better to 
pack it with extra secure packaging. I did. Oh, see, yeah, this box is broken. Oh. I got this from the Huxley range. It's basically they have different fragrances, different like home scents, and this one is a rediffuser in the scent landscape. I got the candle for this and it smells amazing. I've actually burnt through it already. But I decided to get the rediffuser. Comes in this bottle. So this might not be ideal for maybe if you're getting gifts for people because yeah, the actual stuff's all kind of fallen out and the box is ripped. But it's the same product nonetheless. But yeah, maybe just considering if you're thinking about gifting. They're not the best packaged for gifts. Like if you're actually wanting to gift someone Neptune stuff, I'd probably just stick with Neptune, but anyway. And comes with natural colored reeds. Okay, so that's the first item. I did also get a top up, like a diffuser refill. I should be telling you the price of these actually, because that is what was the best part, was the prices. They were amazing. Let me get out my email, see if it's got them. Oh yes found them okay so the rediffuser was 13 pounds 50 pence then i also got a refill this one is in the seascape scent so obviously you can just use the same bottle once it's empty or a different one if you've got like a standalone diffuser bottle the refill in seascape was only six pounds amazing i have the rosemary and thyme scented laundry detergents oh i didn't realize created for Neptune, but it's actually by Plum and Ashby. But anyway, Rosemary and Thyme is my favourite of the kind of laundry scents that they do. And there was this little gift set, which I thought was adorable. Bath salts, bath essence, hand and body lotion, and hand and body wash. Good little travel sizes as well, those. And that was £13. I got one of the... Yeah, it says colour fig. Did I know I got colour fig? Yes, I did. Because I thought, I was thinking fig was going to be green then. No, fig is this kind of red colour that they do, especially around Christmas time. How nice will that be at Christmas, like in a hurricane? It's 10 by 10, this one, 10 by 10 centimetres, and it was £3. Then I did also get a smaller one. This is in the colour um, fig as well. So again, side by side. They could make quite nice little home decor bit. Um like display at Christmas. I can't believe I'm talking Christmas, but we've also got some baubles in here. I've got some Gypsophilia twigs that they do. These were six pounds each. Oh no, six pounds for three, I think. Two pounds each. And yeah, so I've got three branches and I'm thinking about switching out this Pampas. And because these are so long, I'm gonna try it. I would say, shall I try it now? But it's gonna cause a mess. Should we just try it now? Just because I feel like the Pampas is lovely, but I just want to switch it up, you know? I did think about getting maybe some dried eucalyptus or something, or maybe even some more of that um, contorted hazel like I've got in my other one. And obviously I can switch these around and like bend the bottom part so that they're a bit smaller. What do we think? I quite like the wilderness of it looking a bit kind of, less perfect and more i don't know min in a weird way it's more minimal than the pampas i feel i quite like that i quite like it so anyway i'm gonna have a play around with that and figure out what i want to do but what else did i get in here oh the smaller pillar candle as well was only one pound 80. yes i forgot i got this so this is a hanging tea light holder it was only three pound 50 and it's a little glass you can pop these outside and maybe get a few of them i think they again do these around christmas time but also summertime they're quite nice for like outdoor dining you just pop a little tea light in the bottom and hang it wherever you want inside or outside yeah and i just thought it was nice and simple and minimal again with it just being all glass right we've got some christmas decor bits now this is crazy that i'm buying christmas stuff already but this is probably why it was discounted so this is a set of three they're three hanging tea um what do they call them like droplet glass droplets different shapes as well but that's what they look like they're on a little velvet ribbon so pretty these were two pounds for the set this one was two pound forty and i had a pretty consistent theme of like kind of antique brass champagne gold 
last year and I thought this one would work well because it is as you can see like an antique brass on a jute ribbon and then the last thing I bought the last decoration as well is probably my favorite one this one is a glass tree how nice is that? This was only 90p. I should have maybe bought some more of these actually. So anyway, we're on well off Christmas yet. Hopefully by that point, who knows, we'll have a extension built. But yeah, that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending these last couple of days with me. Thank you again to Readly for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my unique link, which I'll leave in the description box, which will get you two months completely free of charge. You can cancel thereafter if you don't like it if it's not for you it is only 9.99 thereafter so well worth it in my opinion and yeah thanks to them thanks to you guys for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys